Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Sam, and in today's video, I will be talking about the three different types of point of view. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications, and leave a like below this video. Okay, let's get started. The first type of third person point of view is third person limited. Third person limited means that the char the narrator only knows the thought of one character. So let's say for example, I'm the narrator and I only know the thoughts of Jimmy. So, so I only know what he's thinking, what he's feeling, all his different types of emotion. So that is what third person limited means. And also third person limited doesn't describe the feelings of any other character in the story except for this one character. The second type of point of view is third person omniscient. Now, like, like it's the opposite of third person limited. Instead of only knowing the thoughts of one character, you you know the thoughts of all the characters in the story. So let's say, for example, instead of knowing the thoughts of Jimmy, only Jimmy, I can know the thoughts of Jimmy, Sally, Max, etc. And also, no character is left out, and you you can know all their emotions, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, and um, like you know, in some books, how they can go into a character's head and say what they're thinking in their head, and they can divert to another character and show show what they're thinking. So that is what third person omniscient is. Third person objective is the last one. Third person objective is completely different from the other two that I just mentioned. Instead of knowing the thoughts of all the characters on one character, you don't know the thoughts of no characters. You don't know the thoughts of Jimmy, Sally, Max, none of them. It just shows the actions that they're doing in the story. Also, no thoughts or feelings will be shared with the characters. So it kind of makes the story a bit dry since since you don't know any of their perspectives. Um, you know what I mean. Also, here's a bonus fact. The bonus fact is just third person in... Oh, never mind. Also, the bonus fact is the pronouns that would be used in third person, um, in third per in types of third persons. So the pronouns I'll be used will be he, she, and they. Those are the three main types of pronouns you should be looking out for, especially when you're reading a third person story. In other point of views, such as first and second um, point of views, they'll also use he and she and they, but in second in, in second um in second person, for example, they'll use you, which is referring to the reader. And first person, they'll use he, she, they, I, my, you know, and, and etc. If you really enjoyed this video on three different types of third person point of views, please make sure to subscribe and come and leave a like below. Okay, peace.